Okay guys, I was inspired by a commenter, Ian, uh, to make a video on the sizing of my Red Wings, nor the squeaking of my dog playing with the toy. Um, so we're gonna start off with a tennis shoe. This is what I normally wear. This is a nine and a half. This is just a New Balance. Um, any kind of Nike or tennis shoe or anything like that, I'm across the board, dress shoes, whatever. Everyday shoe is a nine and a half. Um, so I drew up a little thing. I outlined my foot. I measured it with a measuring tape and it measures at 10 and a half on the dot. So my foot is size 10 and a half inches. Uh, but I wear a nine and a half and a tennis shoe. So that's what this is. Now, I've already talked about the sizing of this one. This is a, uh, this is sized nine. So this is my waterproof with the lining and everything, uh, the 8864. Uh, this is a nine, what I normally wear in a mop toe, but it is a little too tight because of that lining. I've told you guys about that already in my last video. Uh, a thorough good is actually true to size. So if you guys want to buy uh, thorough goods online or something, it's just going to be your normal everyday boot size. Uh, nine and a half is what I'm wearing in this uh, thorough good. So this is just true to size. Um, we'll talk about my Iron Rangers with the traction tread sole. This is model number 8089. Uh, this is actually an eight and a half. So I went a full size down in this Iron Ranger. Um, I actually had this professionally sized at the store, and it, again, is a whole size down from a normal size. That's Iron Ranger. Um, so there's that one. Now, my basic mock toe, uh, this is a 8863. This is the Mule Skinner. I believe it's slate. I may be wrong. I think I called it a Hawthorne in the last one, but it's a Mule Skinner. Anyway, this one has no lining or anything on the inside. This is a... Let's look at the size here. This is an eight and a half. Wait, no, hold on. Is that right? Yeah, this is an eight and a half too. I thought this was a nine, but it looks like this is an eight and a half in a mop toe. So it looks like I have to go a whole size down on my mop toe as well. Um, I didn't actually know that. I thought this was a nine. So yeah, full size down it looks like for Red Wing for me typically um, is what I wear unless it's got the liner. But um, okay, so... Uh, this is your everyday Iron Ranger, model number 8084. So this is a normal everyday Iron Ranger. If you're trying to size yours, uh, let's see, this one is actually a nine, but the only reason this is a nine is because they sold me on an insole. So I believe that I had to go a half size up to get an insole in there. Um, if I bought this without the insole, and believe me, this insole makes it so much more comfortable for me personally. This is iron, I'm sorry, uh, Red Wing brand insole that pretty much goes with their boots. This, uh, I believe this probably would have been an eight and a half. I hadn't gone with the liner, but I really like the liner. So if you're looking to buy Red Wings online, you don't have a store in your area that can uh, professionally fit you, I would go a full size down. Um, so my very first pair of Red Wings that I ever bought, I didn't listen to anybody. I just bought my normal nine and a half and it was way too big. So that's just telling me that in any kind of normal unlined Red Wing, you're gonna have to go a full size down. That's just my experience personally. I've heard half size down works for most people, but uh, I would say if you're gonna buy an Iron Ranger, go at least a full size down and it seems to work perfectly for me so um anyway back to the one that was a nine and a half yeah too big i ended up getting rid of it pretty much within like three months of me owning it i just couldn't wear it it was too big it's extremely uncomfortable you do not want to get a shoe or an iron ranger or a mock toe or any kind of red wing that's too big it's just not going to mold your foot right uh the placement of the ball of your foot and all stuff is not going to be correct so Oh uh, yeah, just wanted to go over the sizes real quick for you guys. Definitely looks like we're going a full size down. I hope that helps you guys with uh, purchases if you have to do it online. Um, if that doesn't work out, well, I guess you're going to have to send it back. But yeah, I would try a full size down, guys. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.